here we go. Gonna go ahead and start off the Palutena and the Meta Knight working out just fine here. We'll see how this matchup goes. Meta Knight has some quick burst options like that dash attack. The same game plan is just that the combos that he gets is slightly different. I feel like just in general the way Meta Knight wants to play, those dash uh, and burst options are so crucial to try and take out uh, kind of a wall character like Palutena. We got the, ooh, the jab reset into the down tilt. Very great stuff actually to start things off. Meta Knight does have some decent moves to send their opponent into trouble, so if you can get those jab resets, it's very a high damage output potentially for Meta Knight. And of course, that Nair is also a great setup tool. And the down tilt too, forcing out the shield. Jumps, or excuse me, Slither 2 Hunter is definitely hunting for the stock right here. And he gets the dash attack one more time, putting him off stage. Alrighty, finally gonna get that some distance with that explosive flame. You can tell S2H is just waiting for the right opportunity. He tried to go in with something, but that dash attack, it, while committal, it does allow for that invincibility, like I said before. But he goes in for that dash grab using Meta Knight speed to his advantage. And he gets the footstool. Not quite enough to do it, though. And he's still trying to keep up the pressure, though. Doesn't even want to think about resetting back to neutral and giving him the advantage. And just like that, he gets the dimensional cape. Of course, the way you time the, the B press on the second time when you repair after Dimensional Cave, if you hold it down all the way through, you do get that reverse hitbox, and it was very smart for him, S2H, to remember to do that so that he could get the optimal kill. Yeah, S2H using that side B to recover. He's kind of really understood how side B and up B go in tangent in terms of recovery, especially the Dimensional Cave. Side B at that situation really good because it does have a hitbox in front of you, and if Palu tries to challenge you with an aerial, you are able to go through it because it has. Decent priority, I would say. Mm -hmm. I blinked. What happened? What? Oh, he hit him with back air. Okay, okay. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like why is he dead? <laughs> I, I thought he was doing good. But the Nair trains, of course, Meta Knight, he does have those multiple jumps, but he does suffer with the aerial mobility instead. Mm -hmm. So a character like Palutena, you can just Nair train all the way and get that good 49% and try and go for it again. But that time, DIing outward. Okay. One thing I do like that S2H is kind of understanding, he's seeing these back airs from Jump City, and he knows I need to catch him with Dash Tech. Why? Because Dash Tech is actually able to go under Palutena because only she's only invulnerable from the top half of her body when she goes for back air. So Dash Tech will be able to challenge that back air if he times it right. Yeah, and well, you'll see what S2H does is that he'll do landing fair 1-2. Fair 1-2 is almost fixed knockback. If not, it is fixed knockback. And it lets you set up into some really great kills because he gets that drag down but it's forcing Jump Steady to play at the space where Meta Knight excels and he wants to get in and burst option with that dash tag or that dash grab. And that's why it's been doing so well because he's been pressuring with those, the thought of those areas like that, those fairs. And like that, he just made him go back out again and catches him with a down, so gets him with a grab again, puts him off stage on the other side. He shows his back angle on the shield a little bit low there because he knows Jump City might be going for a forwarder from the ledge and he immediately able to get that back. I didn't see what movie actually hit him with, but he's able to get the stock. Right, landing with the fair, it just jumps right over the explosive flame. Not yeah. much of a threat. It is kind of one of those moves that you won't really. Oh, there's a back. <laughs> there's a down throw into the raw bear. Um, explosive flame, kind of one of those moves that won't really be affecting S2H unless he's in serious disadvantage because he's able to jump over it and able to punish him sitting around it. So definitely one of those moves you won't be seeing when you play too much, especially in this matchup. Yeah, forcing Palutena to pick more, more uh, committal options just from S2H's spacing and trying to burst in again with that dash attack. Oh, not going to get the tech chase, unfortunate. And we got another grab situation, but DI oh. out. Try to find the follow-up afterwards on the landing. That's usually what you want to do if you can't get a true combo afterwards. Oh, and he aims for the ledge there just to make sure he survives. One thing that we do see S2H go for the forward smashes, good cooldown and, and good speed, and he's able to catch opponents' roll habits with it there. He sets himself with the back all uh, facing the ledge there because if Jump City tries to go for a roll getup, he's able to catch him with a forward smash and set himself yet again for another edge guard. Yeah, how does he get back? He uses that landing bear, just keeps Jump Steady at bay with the shield and gets that cross up. Oh, and the parry too on that back air. Very nice stuff from S2H. Let's see if he can try to close it out, gets that there, puts him to the bad angle. Edge guard into the Nair, yes. He loves going for Nair at the ledge. Definitely knows that his opponents won't be ready for it. When we talk about Meta Knight mains, right? I've talked about earlier his, his history here. In the Smash 4, we did have Pandarian, who was one of the best Meta Knights at the tail end of Smash 4. Um, but when it comes down to the fundamentals of Meta Knight here, S2H, look no further. It is going to be S2H. Pandarian, definitely one of those Meta Knight mains in Smash 4. Dropped the character in this game. He's more of a Pokemon trainer main, but S2H still tried and true with this character. And it shows, you know, character loyalty, pays his respect. We have Nico out here with one of the best Shulk made, and he definitely Shulk said, man, you paid your bills 9 to 5 every day of the week. I got you the next game, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, 
Nico, or excuse me, Shulk is one of those uh, credit card loyalty programs. They're like, okay, you spend enough time with us and you get some cash back. Uh, Meta Knight, not so much. You kind of uh, you kind of get zero APR yeah. and stuff like that. So. <laughs> zero percent. <laughs> yeah, he's still, still pretty good, man. Zero yeah, percent yeah, APR. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, he's got something. Yeah. But, uh, but it's just like you didn't get him cash back or like some big reward <laughs> off of it. But anyway, he's just a, a normal perk. Decent, decent card to sign up for yeah. if you sign up for in Smash 4. Yeah, exactly. But here we go. Gonna go ahead and start off again. Puts him there. I like it. Not able to set up anything afterwards, but it puts him in a safe position yeah. because uh, usually in the early percents, a lot of these things are minus on hit. Yeah, and gets the parry there in the down air and putting Jump City off the stage and he gets the back air. What a play. Right from one parry. S2H not afraid to go for the punish game. Yep, if you go for reverse dares and you get the fair, or excuse me, the back air afterwards, it has such strong knockback that at that part of the stage you're pretty much dead anyway. So that was a great early stock from S2H. Yeah. And it comes down to understanding his opponent's play style, right? His opponent's game plan. That's super crucial when you're fighting Palutena and when you're fighting the meta characters. You need to understand what are their options that they're gonna be using at the ledge against you, right? And if you're able to understand those options, you're able to find those punishes in the forest smash, I'm telling you. Great cooldown, good speed. And he SD'd on that one. Yeah, S2H kind of shaking his head like, ah, I don't really deserve that one. But, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where S2H was doing a good job of keeping up pressure, keeping up the fear, and then he tried to go for a low recovery and he just couldn't quite reach the stage in time. A couple up airs here, putting the upper air train. This is going to be a possible up B to take it, and he does. This is going to be a three stock from S2H with a 20 and a handshake. I just love that right there, the up air train, and then landed on the platform, and he get an extension on that. Such a situational moment, mm -hmm. but he's able to get that ladder to extend it to even the tallest ceiling in the legal rule set here in SoCal. Yeah. S2H definitely knows Mennonite's.